Say good morning, everybody. Who in the world? Girls. Who in the world? Girls. In your Carrier, huh? Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Someone is not a morning person today. All right. This is the solution today. I am legit so hungry. Like sometimes because of breastfeeding, I wake up and I'm ravenous. So I'm gonna eat one of these like healthier blueberry scones, just like a chunk of one. I don't wanna have an entire one for breakfast, but I'm hungry. Mama's hungry. Mmm, carbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's some mornings, I'm so hungry. Mmm, okay, let's make breakfast for this one. Okay, I gotta get daddy to fix this. <laughs> it's not on right. Who in the world? Girls. 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 Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> She's like, Mom, stop. Stop it. Let's get that going. We're gonna do some of these buckwheat, buck, why can I talk? Buckwheat flakes. Usually we do oats, but today we're switching it up. We're doing buckwheat, just to introduce new food so it's not the same thing every day. It's so fun, look, you wanna, you wanna feel it? You wanna feel it? Oh, you can help mommy. All right, in case you're wondering, I do a quarter cup of boiling water and I do two tablespoons of whatever type of oats I'm using. Okay, and then we're gonna add some veggies. All right, then last night I thawed some veggies for sage today. This is carrot, this is peas, so I'm just gonna take a chunk of the carrot and add it in. Sorry if the camera's wobbly, Sage keeps trying to grab it. Then we're also gonna add, oh that was a lot, some breast milk. And cinnamon, this is the kind I like to get for Sage. Just a little bit. The struggle of being the camera person, the mom, and the, the chef is hard. <laughs> okay, keep, keep your arms in. It's hot. But delicious. Okay, let's make our smoothie. I was gonna make oatmeal for Matt and I, but honestly, since I just scarfed down a scone, I'm like craving something different than more like, like bready texture, like carbs. I'm like, oh, I kind of just want something I can drink. Yeah, you gonna help mommy? Okay, grab the spinach. Grab the spinach. Boom. Mm. 
it. You ain't drinking. Grab it. Oh. In there. Yeah. Good job, Seaweed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yay. For daddy. Well, I was looking at different, a few different communities. Here is Sagey's spread for breakfast. She's got her buckwheat with carrot and cinnamon. Um, I also mashed up some raspberries. They're just organic frozen raspberries. I let thaw in the fridge. And then I have some water on the side and her little utensils. All right. Let's eat breakfast. Sagey. This is gonna get messy. I gotta get your bib actually first. Just come in. Okay. There you go. You're good? All my vlogs now are just gonna be CG eating because it's so damn cute. Mmm. Okay, you do it. You do it. <laughs> you do it. Is it good? Yum, yum, yum. Wow. You're so good at that. Mm. So, Seiji now eats three times a day. She's got such an appetite. And she just loves food. I thought I was so worried about her not liking vegetables and stuff. And I know it can change as they like have preferences and they're like, actually, I don't like broccoli. But you know what? So far, it's been really good. I'm just trying to add veggies into things that maybe I wouldn't have. Like, I know you can put carrots in oatmeal, but like, it's just not something you think right off the bat. So instead of just always putting things like banana, you know, and oats and carrot, like they are sweet. So she really likes it. And then I still do fruit on the side. Because at this age, you're really focusing on iron and, and uh, vitamin C. Yeah, all over the floor. Also, I've mentioned it before, but I highly recommend taking the Happy Healthy Eaters course. It's like a super easy but really informative online baby feeding course. And I, I took it in like two days. I learned so much. Like you can go back to it and just get um, refreshers and stuff. But it basically taught me everything that I needed to know about feeding sage which is really helpful. So I'll link that down below, but it was just a really awesome, helpful. Uh... I also have a full blog post about like all the different things that we use, like the utensils, the books I read, and I'll also link her high chair because we get a lot of questions about it and we love it. And it's really important actually to get a good ergonomic high chair. So they're sitting upright and they have a little footstool for their feet. Um, it helps prevent choking. Just so many things to know about feeding your baby. But really, it's all about just having, letting them have fun with their food and exploring different like flavors and textures. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Usually Matt feeds her breakfast, but today it's Mama. I am trying to show everything I'm eating. So I'm snacking on a couple of these. Uh, Neil Brothers cheese puffs. Not really a breakfast food, but also delicious. All right, so Sagey is up from her nap and I'm gonna make her a quick lunch. I'm not ready for my lunch yet, but um, she is definitely hungry. So I'm just doing super quick mashed avocado. I got some hemp hearts she had the other day for the first time. I'll add a little bit of breast milk 
that I thawed from the freezer. And then for the banana, I'm actually just gonna cut it baby led weaning style. You'll see it in a second. She really likes to just hand hold that. And that's gonna be her quick lunch. I like this one because I don't have to heat it up. And then I just take the other half and I put one of the avocado huggers over top so it stays fresh in the fridge. Then for the banana, I'm gonna slice off the top so it's like like that. I'm just gonna slice around. And that is how you do it. Okay, there you go. Sagey's quick lunch. Mmm, yum, yum. There you go, you hold it. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so while Seiji has her lunch, I'm actually gonna just have a bit of this green juice. I usually like to have it on, like, bef not an empty, empty stomach, but like before I have a big meal. So I'm gonna drink that now just to tide me over since I'm not really hungry for lunch yet. And I wanna film, we're filming today, so I wanna film this grocery haul before I actually sit down and have lunch. So I'm gonna enjoy some juice. Build. Seiji does not want to go for a nap, so I'm just feeding her one more time while eating a block of cheese that Matt gave me. Because I'm so hungry. Mmm. And then I'm gonna make some lunch. Okay, eat your milky so mommy can eat. Alright, it is lunch time. It's actually almost three o'clock. I am eating lunch way too late. But I just got caught up with filming and then Sage wasn't going down for a nap. So I'm, I'm gonna eat and it's gonna be delicious. It's fine. I had some snacks, but I'm definitely really hungry now. So I'll show you guys what I'm eating. So I just tossed up a quick misoa salad. I have a recipe for this on my blog. This is a great meal prep salad because you can have everything ready to go in the fridge. So I have some cooked boiled potatoes, onions, there's quinoa in here, a can of tuna, cherry tomatoes, and then romaine lettuce, some boiled egg. And I'm also gonna add in some of these croutons for some crunch. And yeah, I have the recipe, I'll link it down below. This is so delicious. It's one of my favorite kinds of salads. Tea, and there's protein, there's veggies, it's delicious. Oh, and there's olives in here too. And I'm just gonna eat it right out of the bowl, like the salad bowl. Mm. Also, I'm back in comfy clothes. <laughs> yeah, Cassie, you don't wanna hang out with mommy? I'm just having a late lunch while Sage naps because uh, we were just filming today. I just wanted to ask, are you, did you guys still want to come over later for a hike? Um, I had a couple of smart sweets. Matt was a bad influencer and busted this out while I was eating my salad, so definitely had a few of them. I'm gonna also take my vitamins and drink a tall glass of H2O. By the way, let me know if you like these more like vloggy style Wadaina days. I was originally planning on doing more of my Polish style Wadaina day videos, but then it just with Sage's schedule and stuff, it just happened to be a vlog style, which I really like. I like a mixture of both, but let me know which one. Like these are easier for me to film and it's like less planning because I do plan a bit of my Wadaina days just so I know like, do I have groceries? Like I don't wanna just like, be eating cereal and stuff on like a no grocery day. Like that's not inspiring or helpful, I think. So even though I keep it real, I still think about, okay, like what are we gonna eat for dinner? I plan it just like I would planning, you know, dinner if I wasn't filming or something. So 
Um, on days like when I'm vlogging, I feel like I can share more of the, the things that maybe don't make it to the more polished what I eat in a day. And that might be like me eating a couple of smart sweets or like eating cheese sticks or whatever for uh, while breastfeeding uh, sage, like those things. Cause like they just don't make it into it. Not because I don't want it to just because like I do them in the moment and then we get back to filming. So um, sometimes I think it can do a disservice to people. They may think like that's all I ate or that I don't snack and I snack all the time. So, you know, you can still have green smoothies and a salad and eat gummies and cheesies or whatever in between, like that's totally fine. And as a new mom, like breastfeeding and just working and stuff, like that's just life. So if you're a mom struggling to like eat healthy and you're like, how does Nicole do it? Like I eat the same stuff, just maybe like a healthier version of like junk food. Um, I just try to like avoid a lot of like processed sugars and artificial dyes and preservatives and stuff. But like I still eat like junk food per se. Definitely actually. I don't want to say per se. I eat junk food. I just like try to make it a little bit healthier junk food and not do it every single day, you know? Anyways, I'm going to yeah finish this glass of water, stay hydrated. I have a little bit more work to do and then we're going to go for a walk and then probably have a snack when I get back before dinner. So I'll show you guys that when I get to it, when I'm hungry again. All right, it is Sagey's dinner time. It's five o'clock. We're gonna feed her. I'm just gonna heat up her food and then we're gonna go for a little family walk and just end our work day before Sagey goes to sleep and we get to have our dinner. We usually don't eat dinner with her cause I'm just not hungry at this time and I don't want her to eat too late um, so she can kind of digest her food before she lays down for the night. But I'll show you guys what I'm making. I'm actually adding in a brand new food that has been on my list for a bit to give her. So I'll show you guys what it is and just kind of like our dinner setup. All right, so for her like purees and stuff, that's not oatmeal, I usually will just use a small saucepan filled with water and I do like a double broiler action here so I just heat it up in there and then for the actual food I have so I use some of the carrot for breakfast so I'm gonna do the peas today and then I have a hard-boiled egg I'm gonna separate the egg yolk since the egg yolk isn't a allergen so I'm gonna get her to try that and I'm gonna probably add a little breast milk and I'm probably not gonna add the carrot because I just wanna know how this does with her, like the yolk. And I know when you're introducing new foods, it's best not to do it like right before they go to bed in case they do have a reaction. So I wanna give it to her now since she's not going to bed for another couple of hours and I can just make sure she's good with it before she goes down for bedtime. I'm really hoping that she's okay with like egg eggs as a whole, like the egg white and yolk because eggs are just such an easy food just like avocados and bananas like i feel like you just smash up a hard-boiled egg and you got their protein like they're good okay i'm just trying to think what's the best way to dissect this i'm just kind of scoring it around <laughs> why am i making this so complicated okay okay i'm just gonna peel the egg white off of it that makes sense right look a little egg white ball or egg yolk ball there you go. Egg yolk. I can eat the egg white. Okay, there is no egg white on that. I just want to eat it. Is the yolk not the best part? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm just so into hard boiled eggs. I, I know I keep talking about it, but like, if you know me in real life, you know, like, when I love a food, it's like all I want to eat for the next, like, month. I'm like a creature of habit. And then like, I'll go through another phase of a different kind of food. So when I was pregnant, funny enough, like I didn't really get, no, actually, no, I did. I definitely had my favorites, but I didn't get like super weird food cravings. I just like, I had a staple that I would eat nonstop because I knew it was like a safe food. Like I'd feel good if I ate it. Okay, I'm gonna add that. I'm just gonna crumble that in. Maybe I shouldn't add the whole thing. I'm only gonna put half of it. Yeah, just so I can see how she is before I just give her like a whole egg yolk. Sometimes I forget how tiny she is. I'm like, oh right, that, that might be a lot. Okay. Okay, and then I'll add the green peas and some breast milk. Egg yolks can be a little bit on the drier side, so I just want to hydrate everything. That might have been too much breast milk, but it'll evaporate. All right, I'm just gonna heat that up and then we can see how Sage likes it. Okay, usually I'd be more creative and do like another food, but I think I'm just gonna do the banana since I have it still. 
I'm trying to think if there's any. I could do the raspberries again, but I think I'm just gonna do banana. We're gonna make it easy. Okay, so I just sliced some banana and I might even eat the rest of this. I feel like now my what I eat in a days are just eating Sage's leftovers and I feel like that's gonna be a thing. Oh, this is foreshadowing. This is my diet, Sage's leftovers. Gonna mash up the banana. Okay, for her drink, I have a little breast milk in this cup. But the last two meals today, she didn't even really touch her water. So instead of adding the probiotic to her milk, because usually I actually do it in the morning for breakfast, but I just forgot today. So I'm gonna actually add just a little scoop of probiotic in with the banana so that I know she's gonna eat it and she'll have her probiotic. Otherwise, I put it on my nipple when she breastfeeds, but it's just like a pain because powder goes everywhere and it's just, it used to be easy when she was smaller, but now she's like, what's that? And she has this like face and she looks at me and there's like white powder all over her nose. It's really funny, but I I think just sneaking it into her food is like an easier way for her to have probiotics. This is the one that I like and have been using for her. I just do a little scoop. It's like I'm poisoning her food, man. <laughs> she won't even know. Add in there and a banana is actually a prebiotic, so it feeds probiotics. So I feel like this is a good idea. There you go, she's got her fruit her eggs and her peas, veggies, protein, carbs. It's like a complete and healthy fats from the egg yolk too. I just like to spread it out to cool it down a bit. And that is her dinner. Honestly, baby food is so much fun. I mean, ask me in like three months from now, I may not think it's as fun because it just is an extra thing I need to do, but right now it's fun. Okay, let's see how she looks this. Sometimes we find when she's not in a good mood, it helps to switch who's feeding her. <gasps> mm. Can mommy try? Okay, your turn. Your turn. Want more? Want some milky? Oh, you're so thirsty. Okay, maybe I'll breastfeed you. It's a guessing game every day. Milk? Food? Diaper? All right, I am shirtless because I took off my shirt so I wouldn't get avocado on it. And I think, oh, she took a couple. Here you go, you do it. You can use your hands. Mm. And then bring it to her mouth. Good job. Yeah. You could do it like that too. Mm. Okay. I think uh, we are just uh, want milky. Milky? Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna turn off the camera. And uh, yeah, this is the first time that she's actually been angry, this angry at mealtime. So just goes to show every day is different. Every meal is different. Wish me luck. All right, I am gonna have a little snack before we head out for our walk. Sorry, I have CG on me. I have apple, cinnamon, and peanut butter. All right, you can't have this yet. Well, you can have the apple, but not the peanut butter. Mm. She ended up eating most of her food, so I don't know why she's acting like she's tired. She's hungry. Mmm. Mmm. She looks angry at me. How dare you eat without me? All right, we're having dinner outside. I'm enjoying a little cocktail drink. This one's the Little Buddha. Uh, grilled pineapple and rosemary. It's so good. My friend Yvonne got me onto it. It is basically just carbonated water, organic vodka, natural grilled pineapple, rosemary flavor, and then just like sweetened with stevia. And there's carrot juice and pumpkin juice in here. 
Anyways, it's really good. Matt likes it too, and I'm probably just going to drink half of it. And I'm waiting. I ordered like a Mexican burrito bowl, so I'll show you guys when that comes in. But my appetizer is this samosa I got at the health food store the other day. It's really good. I was saying, not that I'm comparing it to my recipes. I hate to be that person, but my, I have a naked samosa recipe in my cookbook. That's so good. And it's definitely, this one's good. Like the sauce that this came with, it's like a mango chutney. It's really good. But the filling, my, my filling's better. And I almost feel like I need to make like the actual version. So anyways, cashew, leave it. And Matt's just eating. What are you eating? <laughs> He's eating like what's left in the fridge. He didn't want it. He didn't want a burrito bowl. So it's like frozen veggie and like Sausages. Oh my god, my arm's getting tired. Okay, I'll show you guys what my bowl looks like when it gets here. I got my friends. I got friends, guys. Look, people are here. Hello. Yvonne and Justin and... Uh, oh, I have to post. I'm going to post uh, the video that you got of Cashew jumping. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. It was like slow-mo. Slow all, all four legs up Off in the, the air. She actually got air. Yeah, it was cool. So I'll post that. But we're just chilling. They ate already. And actually, funny enough, they got the burrito bowls and i'm like no i'm good like i'm gonna make something here She's and then in denial yeah i was in denial and then i'm like i'm so tired like we went for a walk and i was like i'm not cooking and then i ordered burrito bowls so um that that's my update on dinner anyways i'm gonna finish my samosa and wait for my burrito bowl all right here is my burrito bowl i actually ended up just adding in my own guac because i had some avocado in the fridge so i just mashed it up and what did I get? I got brown rice, I got grilled veggies, I got shredded pork, corn, a cilantro sauce, and there's a pico de gallo and like salsa and stuff. So, um, looks messy and delicious, and I'm gonna mix it all up. Cashew? Go, no, you can't have any. All right, let's do a taste test. Cashew. Uh, Go daddy, go eat his food. Taste test. Oh, I got pinto beans in here too. Mmm, that's delish. Chipotle, watch out. All right, I'm gonna end this what I eat in a day vlog and we're gonna just enjoy fire outside with the twinkly lights. There's also a lot of mosquitoes out here so I got my, my natural bug spray. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked this style of a what I eat in a day, more casual, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.